Welcome to Pocket League. Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. This video is brought to you by me, Govant and my game developing partner, Buzan. Before getting into the video, I just want to say that Buzan is now single and is looking for a cocktail partner. So if you are interested, send us your CV and I will decide who deserves my boy Buzan. Just a disclaimer before the video. I'm not a developer of Rocket League and I don't work at Psyonix. Actually, five years ago, I was about to buy the whole Psyonix company when they wanted to sell it for $5 million. I was just about $4.9 million short, but it's okay. I can create my own company and develop Rocket League again whenever I want in my clean room. My story with Rocket League goes back to last year when I saw Epic announcing Rocket League as a free game. As you know that I'm a huge fan of free games because, well, they are free. So I thought, well, why not to give it a try? After playing Rocket League for a while, I could reach Diamond 3 in a short time. Technically, I have around 300 hours in the game, but yeah, I consider it as short. But then I realized that in order to get into the champion, I had to learn Musty Flick, Breezy Flick, Air Flick, Mouse Flick and Keyboard Flick. And according to my fake calculations, that will require another 300 plus hours in the game. So I said, well, there should be an easier way to get into champions, isn't it? And that's when I got the idea to remake Rocket League. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the best game that humanity has been able to make. Pocket League. Yeah, Pocket League. Okay, so it was time to make Rocket League. I thought, well, Rocket League is actually made based on Unreal Engine 3 and then upgraded to Unreal Engine 4. Why not to make the whole game again using the new Unreal Engine 5? Although my PC was not that powerful to render fully with Unreal Engine 5, I decided to go with it and make Pocket League using UE5. So I prepared myself to work full time on it and started the project with the vehicle template that was provided by Unreal Engine 5. And actually it was a good base to start with because there was already a drivable car and that could save me 10 plus hours, so why not? After working day and night 24-7 on it, in a week I had already implemented the boosting, jumping, dashing, dashing right, dashing left, dashing forward, dashing backward. But at what cost? At this point I already had two red eyes that I couldn't open them to see my beautiful game. That's when I decided to give myself some rest and take 3 days off. And while I'm having a rest, can you take this opportunity and hit the like and subscribe button? So while taking a rest and having a walk by myself, I got a magical idea. Well, I already have a course where I taught people on how to make games with Unreal Engine. I thought, well, if I can finish Pocket League in the next week, then I can make a course about it and teach people how to make their own Pocket League altogether. It was a good idea to be honest, but that pushed me to work 25 hours a day again to finish the game and I got red eyes again in just 2 days of work. That's when I realized that glasses can actually make a difference in front of my screen and can help me protecting my eyes. So I went to a doctor to test my eyes and get a new pair of glasses for being in front of a screen all day long. And this video is sponsored by the Buzzin glasses. Well, no, I'm broke and this video is not sponsored or anything. Yeah. But let me tell you, after getting my glasses, it was a whole new experience for me. Now I could even work in front of my screen while I was sleeping because I had glasses. Okay, at this point, Pocket League had potential and it was time to bring the Rocket League cars into it. As a humble fan of Fennec, I decided to bring Octane into the game because I could find it on the internet for free. Now my game looked great but I needed some particle system for boosting. And done. The only thing that was left was the stadium and the UI. Which obviously after I stole some sounds from Rocket League. Well because I'm a developer and Bizen is the game director, we actually don't have that much experience with 3D modeling. So I had to find another way in order to create the stadium. After a lot of research, I found a plugin called Blockout Tools in Unreal Engine Marketplace, which could actually help me creating the stadium, and it was honestly great. Little did I know that this plugin would backstab me with a knife later. Yeah, I created my stadium, and everything was ready. 
Also, I made boost pickups, camera switching and many more other things during this process. The game was ready and I made some little advertisements for myself as you can see. But it's actually okay because it's my game. I don't have to pay for advertisements, right? So yeah, I will do advertisements in whichever place that I want. Mm -hmm. Well, by now the game was ready for packaging and sharing. So I decided to give it a try and package the game for PC so that I could send them to my friends and get their thoughts make the game better. After two hours of rendering, I got my pocket league and it was ready for playing. I was so hyped about it. So I started the game and yeah, that's when I lost hope for humanity. I didn't know that Blockout Tools plugin was not currently supported by the beta of Unreal Engine 5. So when I packaged the game, the walls were all gone and I was left only with a weird field that looked more like a stadium in the sky that was like shit. I was a bit disappointed to be honest because I spent two days just to make the stadium look cool. I told myself, well, it is what it is. I will just remove the plugin and will create another stadium again without the plugin. So I went to Unreal Engine and I removed the Blockout plugin along with some other plugins as well that I thought were not important, lucky me. After two hours of compilation again, I went back to my project and I wanted to remake the stadium and I realized that I couldn't get access to my browser and I couldn't add or edit anything anymore in the project because the plugins that I thought were not important, one of them was part of the project and I couldn't get it back. That's when I realized that I lost the project and I had to make it again from the start. So I lost my project. All those red eyes and 25-7 works were gone. Can you imagine? And I actually couldn't accept it at first. After fighting with my mental health for three weeks, I decided to forget about what happened that month and remake the game again from scratch and make the course that I promised. To be honest, I lost some hope in the game, but the course pushed me back into it and to remake the game again. So now after two weeks, I feel better and I have actually made the course. Currently in the course, the game is much better and smoother than the first time that I created. And in the course, I show everything that I made in Pocket League and teach everything in it. If you want to learn how to make Rocket League in Unreal Engine 5 using 100% blueprint, then let me tell you, this course is actually for you. And if you want to learn game development and then remake Rocket League just for fun, then you're absolutely welcome because I already have another course for the absolute beginners with amazing 5 star reviews. If you want to learn how to make your own Pocket League today, then use the links in the description. It's only $10 after the discount if you use my links below. And if you want to support me, please like and subscribe. It will help me a lot and it will actually help with my mental illness. And consider following me on Twitch because I do live streams playing Rocket League and Battlefield mostly so definitely come there and we will play together. So guys this was Pocket League for you and before I go I just want to say one thing you can do Mastiff Leagues in Pocket League as well. This video is brought to you by me and Buzan. See you guys in the next video and thanks for being here.